This winter weather comes the problem of our roadways and specifically this morning we're looking at potholes, a huge headache for drivers and it can cause damage to your car. The pothole problem in Kansas City, we know it's bad and it continues to worsen. Here's a look at potholes that have been reported to 311. If we stay on this map right here, you can see those blue dots. Those right there are the ones that need tending to this morning with open tickets that the city has yet to get to. Abby Dodge has looked into this issue. She is live at 470 and View High Drive this morning where there are some reported potholes that are causing issues for drivers. Abby, they're not difficult to find either. These things are huge. Yeah, they're huge, and the city has put out a lot of cones. So besides huge flashing lights pointing to them, this is about as noticeable as you get. But it's not just this area over here off View High Drive. It's potholes all across the city that drivers are dodging. Uh, very carefully. I swerve <laughs> to miss them, um, you know, just try to avoid them the best I can. I fit a couple. Drivers say it's hard to avoid them on their drive. No matter which way Ludung takes to work, there are always potholes to avoid and it takes a toll on her car. I'm sure it's out of alignment, but I'll deal with that after, <laughs> after they fix them, I guess. Now, not all potholes are this big, but the city has put out some cones over here to make sure drivers um, actually drive in the middle of the two lanes to avoid these potholes over here. We talked to one driver who actually made a claim on damage to his car because of these potholes over the weekend. We're putting together that part of the story coming up at 620. Live in Kansas City, Abby Dodge, KCTV5 News. Abby, we showed that pothole map explaining just how many open tickets there are that the city still needs to get to. Did you talk to the city to figure out how long it takes them to get to each one? I did talk to the city and actually they say that 96% of the potholes that have been reported to 311 have been fixed. So there's just a lot. I think they said there's almost 20,000 reports over the last year, wow. which is a ton, but they've been able to get to a lot. It does take a little bit longer in this season though, especially with the weather that we're going to experience today and the rest of the week. Um, that's going to make it hard for crews to get out here because they're switching between salting and plowing the roads yeah. and then trying to come out here and do some patchwork on the potholes. Got it. All right. Good information there. Thank you for that. They're just getting overwhelmed, it seems.